This is a step-by-step -step video tutorial on how to make these crocheted statement earrings. If you purchase the crochet kit, you will receive all three colors of this 100% cotton yarn, and I will give you enough where you can change up the color combination. So if you want a color combination that's slightly different than this, you can choose to do that. You'll also receive a four millimeter crochet hook, the earring posts and the backs, and then these small gold connector rings. You'll also receive this jewelry earring card. So in case you want to gift the earrings to someone, you can put it on this nice card. And then the only thing that you'll need that's not included in the kit is some sort of glue. I will be using hot glue, but you could use super glue or fabric glue. And you'll also need scissors. Small scissors are better. And if you also have jewelry pliers or regular pliers, that could also help as well, but you don't necessarily need them. I will not be using them in this tutorial. All right, to start, I am using the light pink with a four millimeter crochet hook and make, making a magic circle. So you hold the yarn like this, wrap it under your fingers and then over and cross it. Then I just kind of hold it with my pointer finger and my thumb insert the hook into that circle and pull up a loop. Then I just kind of hold that tight where it connects, yarn over and chain up one. Now make six single crochets into this magic circle. So insert the hook into the circle, pull a loop through, yarn over, and then pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. So insert, pull a loop through, yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook, and do that until you have six single crochets. So this is three, four, five, and oh, let's do that one again. Last one, six. All right, and then take the tail and pull it so it's nice and snug. Then find that first single crochet stitch, insert, pull loop through, and then slip stitch. So just pull that loop through the loop. And then yarn over and finish it off by making another slip stitch. I like to pull the tail tight again cut the yarn. All right, and then just cut this tail. Once you pull it nice and tight, you can cut the tail up really close to the work so there's no, you don't see anything. And then insert the hook and just start to weave the yarn through to finish off. I usually just do this two times you can do it more if you want and then cut it nice and close again and this will be the first circle to the earring up next I'm doing this coral color for the middle color so same thing you want to make a magic circle cross it over insert pull a loop through now this time you want to chain up two so yarn over pull loop up, yarn over, pull a loop up. So now you'll be making half double crochet into the magic circle. So yarn over, insert, pull a loop through. So now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on that hook. So again, yarn over, insert, pull a loop through, yarn over, pull through all three loops that are on the hook. You'll do that eight times. So that's two. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, once you've done all eight half double crochet, 
then take the tail, pull it nice and tight so you close the circle, insert your hook into the first half double crochet, yarn over and pull a loop through, and then pull that loop through the loop on your hook. Pull it nice and tight, yarn over, and then just slip stitch to finish off. Pull again, pull it tight, and then same thing. Cutting. Cut the tail nice and close. And then weave the ends through however many times you want. If you want to do it more times, because you'd rather be safe than sorry, then you can thread it through multiple times. But usually I just do it twice. Then cut it in nice and close. And this is the middle circle of the earring. For the bottom circle, I'm using this deep navy color. Same exact thing. Make a magic circle and then chain up two. So yarn over, pull a loop through, yarn over, pull a loop through. Now make a double crochet. So yarn over, insert into the circle and pull that loop through. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through the last two loops on the hook. So again, yarn over, insert into the circle and pull that loop through. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and pull through the last two loops. So that's two double crochets. You're going to take this up to ten. So this is three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. Okay, I'm going to pull the tail nice and tight. Insert into the first double crochet, pull a loop through, and then pull that loop through the loop on the hook, yarn over, and make a slip stitch to finish off. I need to pull this tail a little bit tighter so it really closes that center. Cut that center tail nice and close. Cut here. And then weave through the end. And for this one, I'll do, I'll weave it through a few more times. No rhyme or reason to it. I just kind of weave it through wherever, pull it a little bit tighter. All right, so this is the third and final circle of the earring. Next, I take just a little bit of hot glue and add it to the earring back. Just a little tiny bit. Take that smallest circle, place it right in the middle, and then just press it firmly you only need a little bit of glue because otherwise it kind of spills out over the sides. And that's that, really simple. Next, you're gonna add these connector rings. This is probably the, can be the trickiest part of this pattern. So I take my scissors, these are just regular scissors, and I hold it just like that. Then I take my crochet hook and I stick it in there. So I have my scissors and my crochet hook in that connector bar. Then I just pry it open just a little bit, literally just that much. It doesn't have to open up that much. Okay, then I take this first 
circle and you can thread it through whichever stitch you want. Try this hand. Sometimes it just takes a little bit. Okay, there we go. And it should go through the entire single crochet stitch. Then you'll take your second circle and same thing, just kind of thread it through. Use your fingers to kind of just push it along. Okay, and there it goes, it pops out. Okay, from here, you just wanna close that ring all the way. So I just take my scissors, I kind of clamp it down right in the middle And I push it closed. There we go. And you just kind of push it closed. And that's it. So it can sometimes take a little bit of work for that connector bar, but I used nothing but regular scissors and a crochet hook and I was able to do it. So then you would do the same thing to connect the biggest circle to that middle circle. All right, so once you're done connecting the last circle to the middle circle go ahead and repeat the same thing for the second earring and you are done this is a very quick really simple project and like i said if you're interested in purchasing the kit i will link it in the description you can check it out on my website and i will include everything that you'll need so you don't have to go out and buy all the color of yarn and you're only going to use a little bit Plus the connector bars, uh, connector circles come in, you know, a pack of a hundred and then same thing with earring posts. If you don't, if you're not planning on making 50 pairs of earrings, you might be interested in just getting the kit. Everything's included. If you have any questions at all, please, please, please let me know. And I'd love to see your earrings. So be sure to tag me at crochet by Colleen on Instagram and all over social. I'd love to see what you're able to make. Have fun and enjoy.